hovering between 20 and 30 knots apparent. So we got our second reef in the main. Joe is pulled way in. It's got two little bits of sail and we're still cruising seven, eight knots. Me and Bart smoking his imaginary cigarettes. Now he's just getting fucked by the wind. <laughs> Still going in the half nine knots. over the first thousand mile mark of our voyage north up the line island. So we got our whole team has woken up out of their deep slumber this evening. 
We got birds and we even got a full moon this evening. It's a bit of a special occasion because not only are we crossing the equator, but we are crossing the equator on the dateline. So when the sun comes up, we will be the first people in the world to see it. And we will all be golden shellbacks. We're doing it, team. So we made it to Kiribati last night at about three in the morning. We anchored up just offshore in a little anchorage. Uh, took a little nap and then we're woken up this morning by the Kiribati police telling us that the island is on lockdown and that we need to vacate. Um, so we are going to pull anchor. Uh, we just had some breakfast burritos. We're gonna pull anchor and keep heading north um, back out into the deep blue. So keep going I guess is our only option. When the authorities say go, you I guess have to go. So, We'll check in when we're farther out to sea again. Christmas Island, I figured the team needed a little pick-me-up. So I pulled a little Chinese stove top oven out and I made us all some brownies. We're gonna see how they taste here. Woo! Nothing like chocolate to raise the spirits. on this trip. Last night was the hardest night so far. Uh, we were cruising waves picked up and we were feeling like we were on a rocket ship going 9 to 11 knots. Felt stable, was cruising real good right over. And then the slamming started. And the buckle finally broke on the dinghy. The uh, pulley. So we replaced it with a carabiner and tied a bunch more ropes onto it because it was about to fall into the ocean. Then we laid down for a couple minutes, tried to regain our breathing. And the wind generator's line that holds it onto the rail broke, and so it started slamming around. Uh, so we got that removed. It was also blowing 20, 25 knots at the time. Holding on for dear life. Managed to get it down, strapped in place. It's the put covered the pulled the propeller off, pulled the vane off. Now it's just strapped to the deck. Didn't sleep even a little bit. Morale is low right now for this guy, that's for sure. I think at some point today we're gonna cross the 500 mile mark to Hawaii. Uh, getting close. 
looking forward to pizza on the other side. I'll let you know if I get any sleep tonight. About 70 miles from Maui. Uh, not a lick of wind in several hours, so Bart's gonna do a backflip. Yeah, we're stopping uh, in between or off the coast of Maui and Big Island. Calming down a little bit because it's just been motoring for over 24 hours now. So, still can't see them, they're just over the horizon, but. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Ooh. Felt that one from here. <laughs> All right, we have made it to our anchoring spot in Maui. Woo that was an exciting night. Exciting morning, we got 25 knots, small craft advisory from the Coast Guard last night, but we made it through unscathed. We are now in protected water in the North Malaya Bay. Boy howdy, so we have anchored the boat in the wind and kicked up the 15 knots. Jump off, third pass. You will be the last one to think about. The last one to think about. Bag number two. Just sailed for three weeks across the ocean. 2,500 miles in Bayou Park, right out there. 